durable material, which is very easy to clean. These are gonna be a direct replacement for your factory floor mats. Oh yeah, look at that. I would say that's a pretty much destroyed floor mat for you guys, so. We've got another awesome new product here at Lethal Performance that we're gonna to showcase today for all different vehicles, but we're gonna be installing them on our brand new 2022 Ford Bronco Raptor. So let's take a look inside and see what I'm talking about. These are the all new Tux Mat aftermarket floor mats for your vehicle. Again, they're available for all different vehicles, but today they're going on the Bronco. So for you Bronco guys out there, whether you have a two-door, four-door, or Bronco Raptor, these are gonna be a direct replacement for your factory floor mats. Made from heavy-duty, durable material, which is very easy to clean. They also use laser scanning, so these actually fit perfect in place of your factory floor mats. One other thing to note is that Tuxmat also has the highest carpet coverage than any other aftermarket floor mat out there. So they're gonna cover most of the carpet area inside your vehicle that some of the other mats do not. Tuxmat also also has a padded heel area. Those are the areas that you use the most. So the area that's on your floor mat that would naturally see most of the traffic is gonna be padded for extra strength and longevity. Now check this out before opening up the box. Tuxmat, very creative design by the way. Their box actually turns into a vehicle. There's certain areas on this box where they show you how to cut it out and you can build a car. So if you guys out there who have kids, you know, order yourself a set of mats and give your kids something to do for a bit. So let's check it out right here. Look at these mats. It's actually really nice. Um, again, mentioning the padded heel area that sees most of the traffic for extra durability and longevity. Um, they look like they're all cut to fit perfectly in the vehicle. So we're gonna pull them out here. Joe, let's get started on the install. And for those that actually need help installing these tux mats, although they're very easy to install, they send this cool little installation packet with a QR code. You scan it on your phone, it's gonna bring up the video on the install. What's great about a product like this is for those who use their Broncos for off-roading, camping, uh, go you know, skiing in it and stuff and get it really dirty and stuff like that, these mats are gonna help protect your factory carpet. Obviously, you don't wanna be ruining it. Uh, for those guys that are in those uh, cold states with lots of snow and salt, I mean, that stuff could ruin the factory carpet real easily. So using a mat like the Tux mat to protect your investment is a great idea. So let's go ahead and install the rear mat. It's just a single piece and it looks like it's gonna slide right into place. And again, what's pretty cool is that they do use that laser scanning technology, so you do have a perfect fit on this side. And uh, look at that, it actually goes around the uh, seat bracket, which is pretty neat. Slides right into place. This is one of my favorite parts right here, is peeling that little sticker off, right? How good does that feel? Ah, uh, look at that, woo! All right, let's move on to the front. Get that off of there. I'm gonna peel that as well. Again, that feels so good doing it. Look at me struggle, huh? There we go. All right, so we're gonna be installing the driver's side floor mat. We uh, put the driver's seat all the way back. I'm gonna slide it under the accelerator and brake pedal right up into there. It's gonna pop into the factory locks right there. Got that. And uh, look at that. Uh, again, mentioning that they do have the most uh, coverage area for your carpet. These actually look like they protect the sill plates as well. So your cool uh, Ford Performance stuff, badge on the side here isn't gonna get all messed up from people getting into the truck with ski boots or snowboard boots on and messing things up with some gravel. So nice little feature. All right, so that's been installed. So we do also have some security clips that we're gonna be installing. That will help prevent the actual pad from coming up and getting stuck on your accelerator or brake pedal. Even with those pins not even there, they seem to hold in place very well. I'm digging the material, Joe, I'm liking it. It's, uh, it's nice, unlike the real heavy, thick plastic floor mats. Uh, these are kind of soft feeling to them and uh, very flexible, easy to work with. And uh, they sure do look like they'll clean up well, but I think uh, we'll take that to the test here shortly. This is also uh, one of the easiest installs we've ever done. Problem free, guys, problem free install. Gets a uh, two thumbs up from me. Nice and secure. I'll put a couple of those safety pins over here on the side and we should be good to go. Whoa! 
Whoa! Hey, Jared, what are, what are those for? <laughs> it's, uh, it's bath time, Joe. <laughs> the only thing I don't have is your favorite rubber ducky. Oh, no, yeah. These are actually to clean the mats. We're gonna use some Dawn and a scrub brush once we get them dirty. So let's go and get them dirty and then clean them up. So far, so good. Mats were easy to install, look really good. And um, I was just saying to Joe that, you know, having that, that padded heel area, typically if I'm on like a long drive, uh, traveling somewhere, I do like to drive with my sneakers off. It's more comfortable for me. I can see that padding being a lot more comfortable than just like a, a very like hard rubber mat. So, uh, but now it's time to go and get these pads filthy dirty and clean them up. Let's see how they clean up. The cleanup test. Let's do it. Ready to take this thing to the test? We got a whole bunch of Chick-fil-A sauces, ketchup, some uh, strawberry jam. Let's do this. Taco Bell mild hot sauce. Let's do it. This is for demonstration purposes only, okay? We've got some uh, barbecue sauce first, right? There you go, Tux Mat. Ooh, yeah, There's. that's what your kids do, guys. You know that, don't lie to me, come on now. You might do it while you're driving and eating, all right? There we go. That's some barbecue sauce. How about some sweet and spicy sriracha? That's gonna blend well with this uh, barbecue sauce, right? This stuff is sticking to my fingers already. Imagine what it does to your actual carpet in your car. Mmm, look at that. Oh, I'm having too much fun here, Joe. What do you think next? How about a little strawberry jam? Yeah? Sure. Let's do, let's do two packages of strawberry jam. There we go. Jam on it, jam on it. Jam, 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 own it. Oh, look at this. Oh, just, oh, look at that. They're so great. What a, ah, oh, here you go. Rub that in there. You go. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. I mean, we haven't done any Chick-fil-A sauce yet. And I know my kids love the Chick-fil-A sauce. So if they love them, I'm sure your kids do. And there you go. Yeah, let's get this stuff all over the place. Ooh, yeah. It's got some color in it now, so orient. Me, personally, I'm a Polynesian sauce guy, but Yep, I mean, to each their own. Here we go. And I guess we could uh, top it off with a little bit of uh, ketchup. Right? Now we've covered a bunch of sauces and stuff of like that, but I mean, I don't think sauce is like the only thing you guys are getting on a floor mat. So let's go grab some like dirt and gravel and leaves and stuff of like that and throw it up on there and rub it in. Yep. And then we'll clean it off. Look at this. Let's go. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh. Man, there, there you go. I would say that's a pretty much destroyed floor mat for you guys. So the first step towards cleaning the tux mat, they say, is to hit it with a hose. And, uh, and then we'll do the step where you're supposed to put some soap on it, use a scrub brush lightly, and then rinse it again. And then we're gonna clean it off with a towel. Oh, no, don't do that. Where's the money, Lebowski? Not on the rug, Where's man. the money? Man, those clean up well, huh? A little bit of Dawn, a little scrub brush. There we go. All soaked up good or what? I did a phenomenal job. Got a lot of pee off. Well, you guys saw how dirty that was at all. It's different sauces and dirt and leaves and gravel and crap like that. And with just a couple little steps to clean it off, I would say that it's definitely safe to eat off of this. So I'll do the lick test. No sauce, no gravel in my mouth or nothing like that. And there you have it, guys. The Tux Mat! Woo! All cleaned up just like new and it's gonna go back in the Bronco and fit perfectly. So. For all you guys out there interested in a tux mat, we have them now available on lethalperformance.com for all Broncos, two, four-door, and Bronco Raptor, as well as various different applications. You guys have any questions on the tux mat or any other products we offer here at Lethal Performance, feel free to reach out to us at 561-753-8105, Mustang King, Bronco King, and I'm out. Off there. All right. So we're in draw. We're there. Yeah. All right. So we're in. Er, er, er. All right. Hold on.
Hold on, let me do that for the third time. <laughs> All right, sir. Well, Jared, it looks like we did our zero to 60 times a little too early here, man. These pads, I mean. Oh, definitely, like weight saving mods for sure. I mean, that with the JB4 tuner, MAP5, I, I think it's gonna fly. We got five mats, we got MAP5, we got. Yeah, I mean, well, we've got no, the no, awesome, we got awesome suspension on the Bronco already, but yeah. now we've got those those padded floor mats. Plush mats. Oh yes. yeah, plush mats. We're ready to take on anything from curbs to <laughs> yeah. curbs. Curbs to dog poop. Yep. Snow. I mean, we don't have any snow down here, guys. We don't have snow. We don't really have salt on the road, so we're not gonna be able to test that. Um, but for those who have children. Um, you can definitely relate to kids having lots of food in the car, especially from Chick-fil-A. Those um, Chick-fil-A sauces, I'm talking about that Polynesian sauce, the Chick-fil-A sauce, ketchup, that stuff ends up everywhere, uh, or used to end up everywhere in my car when the kids were a lot younger. So we're gonna definitely use some, uh, some Chick-fil-A sauce and other sauces on these mats and see how well they clean up. Should pretty, be a pretty good testament to uh, how they handle, um, you know, nasty stuff you know not just normal element stuff but uh you know chemically engineered crap 